Hey everybody! Well, this is just going to be a real quick video, but I wanted to talk about a problem that I think some people are having when it comes to the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Back to the Future Part 2 DeLorean. So I just did a review on this, but I'm seeing that some people are having problems with the wheels. When you flip them down into flight mode, like you see here, uh, they're breaking. The wheels are breaking on them, and I think I know what's causing that problem. All right, so now let's look down inside of what's actually going on in here. So here inside you can see the mechanism of how this wheel is. So I think what's going on is if you look right in this part here, this whole section right here, this, this big chunk of plastic right here, it slides in and out of this part right here. So this whole thing slides in and out straight you know, forward. So when you have it in the upright position, the tire, it's really hard to pull the tire out. It's hard to grip the tire and pull this out and then flip it down into flight mode like you see here. So I think what's happening is when people are gripping the tire when it's in the regular mode, their tendency is to uh, take, your, take the tire and go back and forth like this while you're pulling it out because you, it feels like it's stuck. And so your natural tendency is to wiggle it like this and then pull it you know, while you're pulling it out. And um, that's not actually how to loosen this, because if you look, there's this hinge right here, all right? So the hinge is strictly, this whole hinge is strictly just to let the wheel flip from uh, driving mode to flight mode. So when you are going back and forth with the tire like this, you're putting a lot of stress on this little hinge right here. And this is the part that's breaking on everybody. It's breaking right in this section. And that's because they're, they're going back and forth like this, and it's you know, putting stress on this plastic, especially this part right here, and that's what's breaking it. So when you are pulling the wheel out to put it in flight mode, don't uh, go back and forth like this. Just pull it straight out. Just pull it straight out. Get a grip of the wheel, the tire, and just pull it straight out because that's what's got to move is this whole thing right here has just got to slide in and out. Jiggling it doesn't help it loosen up to make this come out. All that's doing is putting stress on this hinge right here. So that, I think, is what's causing it. And I was even doing the same thing when I first started pulling these out, because they are hard to pull out. Uh, it, your tendency, like I said, is to jiggle it. I was doing the same thing. Thankfully, I didn't jiggle it all that hard, and I think that's why mine didn't break. And, you know, it's hard enough to get a grip of the tire because your fingers can't fit under the wheel well right here and grip the tire. So just pull it straight out, and then this should slide out. Just get a good grip on it. Don't twist it, because you'll break that right there for sure. And so I'm sure Sideshow or uh, Hot Toys is now dealing with a bunch of returns where people are returning their DeLoreans because their wheels broke. But the best way to do it is, is just pull straight out. That's the only way to do it, and it works the same way on the back. Uh, you'll, you'll see how that looks on the back. I'll show you. I should also mention real quick that I'm not sure how many returns Sideshow or Hot Toys is going to allow for something like that because technically that is not a defect with the product. It's actually kind of like an operator error type of thing. And so they may not, I mean, you know, if it happens enough, they may not accept a whole lot of returns on this. So we'll have to see how that goes. So here's the back wheel and you can see that it doesn't have that little lip on here, but it has the same exact sliding in and out mechanism. So yeah, I think that's what's causing it is, you know, just the breakage on the hinge. So just pull it straight out, like I said, and I think you'll be all right. So anyway, I hope that helps because I know this is not a very cheap model. It's a very expensive model. And the last thing you want to do when you get it out of the box is break it. So uh, yeah, hopefully that'll prevent you guys from accidentally breaking that hinge. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you can hit the like and subscribe buttons as well. So thank you again, and I'll see you on the next video, and have a good one.